Well, we are just arriving here at Tombstone RV Park. This is Tombstone RV Park, one and a half miles from Tombstone. At the recreational hall, they serve coffee in the morning. And right next to it is the heated swimming pool. The pool's very nice and clean and warm because it's heated. This is where they serve coffee in the morning. I also have a kitchen in here. And here you can play games. The laundry room. The bathrooms have a coat lock. Two regular shower stalls and one handicapped. It's dated, but clean, and the showers are hot. They also offer four cabins. And they have a separate building with four motel style rooms. Those rooms are air conditioned. The park is not very busy, but my via email confirmed site was upon arrival given to somebody else and uh, it was confirmed on the phone and by email, but it was not given to me. So at the end, uh, I ended up with site 25. And apparently, dogs are allowed. And they even get dog cookies here. <laughs> That's cool. The famous bird cage theater.
walking down Tombstones Main Street. And here's famous Big Nose Kate Saloon. By the mustache and Delta wants to go inside, of course, huh, Delta? And right across the street is the famous OK Corral. That's where it happened. This is the Tombstone Courthouse. In the back you can see the gallow. Opens at 9, closes at 5. And this is the Tombstone City Park. No pets are allowed here, except for service dogs. A little weird. Because in general, Tombstone is a pet-friendly town. Almost every store allows pets, and they always give treats. happened right in front of the Crystal Palace Saloon. Wanna go shopping, Delta? Those are all the printing presses from back in the days. We are here at the Shivlin Monument. And that's a monument, monument, an obelisk that was built to honor the founder of Tombstone.
Edward Lawrence Shivlin, he was actually an Indian scout and prospector, and he discovered silver here in the tombstone area. And the soldiers back then, they said, you're crazy, all you gotta find is your tombstone. And then when he actually found silver and started to, to build the city, he called it Tombstone. He was born in 1847. Checking out the San Pedro Trail. That's the old post office of Fairbank, Arizona. Still looks pretty good. So this was the old schoolhouse here. And this building, it doesn't say what it was. But it's closed. We're heading towards the, the river, the San Pedro River. Uh, I doubt that there's any water in there, but we'll see. It's only 0.3 miles. Yeah, and here we are at the San Pedro River. And unfortunately, just as expected, there's not a single drop of water in there. That is sad, because it would have been nice. So this will lead us to the Fairbank Cemetery. I don't know if the microphone can pick this up, but there is buzzing and humming all around us. Must be millions of insects. So the Fairbank Cemetery is on top of a little hill. And it's a uh, Historic site. It's not too much left of it. There's a grave site, here's one. And there's another. Oh yeah, and here's one that's even fenced in. But I do not see any headstones. So it is pretty much impossible to figure out who's buried here. There's a larger gravesite right here, but again, no headstone, no inscription, no nothing. Whoever's buried here, rest in peace. just went to the Fairbank Cemetery which is out in the open and then on top of a hill and today it's really hot it's brutal up there and of course Delta she doesn't like the heat so we went back in here to well I call it the enchanted forest because that's that's how it looks like like a tunnel almost and if it wouldn't be for all the insects and flies that are constantly attacking that's a nice trail. So you got to deal with that if you decide to come here. Lots of insects. But it's nice and green. So that's definitely a plus. This is the parking area for Fairbank and uh, Fairbank Cemetery. Even RE parking here. Pretty big.
heading towards Old Bisbee. We're in Bisbee right now, right here at the scenic view of the Queen Mine, which was a large copper mine right in front of me. And that's an overview of the pit mine. We're here, that's the scenic view. And there are one, two, three mines actually, or pits, the Sacramento pit, 1917 till 1929, the Lavender pit, 1950s till 70s, and the Holbrook extension number three, late 60s till the 70s. We are right at the beginning of Old Bisbee. And there are reminders that this was a mining town. Some ore carts with ore in it. Definitely some interesting architecture. <laughs> The El Dorado Suites Hotel. Those are some steep stairs here. It's the Rock Exchange Saloon. It's also a brewery. Park right next to it. And this is the way to the Copper Queen Hotel, which is this historic building right here. It's also supposed to be haunted. That's an interesting architecture.
Upper Queen Hotel. And this is right across the Copper Queen Hotel. A very nice garden. Back there is the Copper Queen Hotel again. And this is the Bisbee Museum for mining. Yeah, this is a, a hippie town, that's what it's known for, so in June I got the hippie dippy days. This is the post office and the Copper Queen Library. Yeah, definitely a hippie town. The Bisbee Grand Hotel. This is the inn at Castle Rock. A weird decor with a bomb sticking in the front yard. And then right across of it, it's Castle Rock. This here is the beginning of the Bisbee 1000. That's a 1000 stairs that you can climb and they lead you all over town to all those houses up there. And again, Castle Rock. Definitely some interesting artwork here. They got some interesting little houses here. Yeah, Delta always wants to go in there when she sees a door. Look at that tiny porch. Oh, 
there's actually a mine shaft right here in town. Who would have known? Was that for an abandoned gas station? We are leaving Tombstone RV Park and heading towards Tucson. First stop, Pima Air Museum. Online they said they allow dogs. So we're gonna check that out. If not, then we go straight to Catalina State Park. 